and hello and welcome to part number five of my let's play of Planet Zoo. Alright you guys, so in this part we're going to be doing a few things. First of all, we're going to be adding in the spring box and the Thompson's gazelles. And then we're going to see if what all we have unlocked since I played last, which wasn't very long ago to be honest, it was just a few minutes ago really. Um, <laughs> But I played a little bit off camera just to get some more stuff unlocked because it's not particularly exciting waiting for all that stuff to go through. And while that happened, we happen we happened to breed the ostriches. So the ostriches have a bebe. I'm not sure where their bebe is, but uh, here's the proud papa. Isn't he beautiful? He's so beautiful. I love him. <laughs> okay. Now, without any further ado, let us get those animals into quarantine so that they can get their butts into their new habitat. Yeah, I've got a lot of warthogs. Jeez. Let's put all the baby warthogs in the actual habitat, I think, would be a good idea. Or at least some of them. Let's put these two in there. And then I'll save the rest of them for my other zoos later on. Okay, the lemurs are good. Let's move the spring box. Number one. Come on, let me select her. There we go. Number two. Ugh. Number three. There we go. Now, let's go on to the next page. Okay. And then we have two more female spring box to move. Do, 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 do. I wish that you could select them all at once like you can in sandbox mode. That would be freaking helpful. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see, that Tommy's a baby. He was only just born. Let's see. Bun me! You have a cute name. I love you already. Let's see now. I think I might be trying to move too many animals at once for my small quarantine to handle, but we'll see. Let's move this fawn into there because that was the baby one. And then let's move the grown-up male and then all of the females. We will get the rest of the females in a bit here, but right now I think the quarantine is pretty full. So I'm not sure what else we can do here. Okay. Oh, we also finished doing some vet research for some of the um, animals. Completely finished it. So we finished it for the flamingos and the algebra giant tortoises. So we know everything we need to for them now. And I've got a couple of staff members, a couple of vets, who are currently working on learning about these two diseases. As soon as they're done learning about those diseases, uh, at least for one level. I'm going to move them over to the um, Springboks and Thompson's Gazelles. Okay, everybody's crowding them all into quarantine here. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Quarantine full. Staff queuing. Oh no. Oh no, it's a good thing that we have them in quarantine though because this Springbok is sick it looks like her. No, that means she's pregnant. She's pregnant, guys! We have a pregnant springbok! Oh my goodness, we have a pregnant springbok! <laughs> that didn't take long. Okay. Let's see, you learned the first level about that disease. Yay, good. I will have you off of that then. There we go. What's this? You can't find an accessible thingy? Quarantine is full, yes I know. Now we gotta wait until they all pass quarantine. And Keisha there is pregnant, or Keisha. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say her name, I apologize. 
I apologize. Profusely. Okay, good. Who passed? Uh, this one did. The baby warthogs are ready to go. Okay. Oh no! Mandala! We're losing our wild dogs to old age, you guys. No. Mandela, no. No, Mandela. No! Rest in peace, buddy. That was dramatic. Oh, dear. Wah. That's depressing. Okay, so... Yeah, I know animal died. Excuse me while I mourn. <laughs> so, right now we just have Razi here and his mother. Uh, yeah, we need a new female for him. Let's put contraceptives on her. Take them off of him. And see if there is another female wild dog that we can get that is any good. Let's see here. Any species? No. We don't want tortoises right now. Tortoises are quite lovely, but not today, thank you. I want African wild dogs. Okay. I can afford a good female. Awesome. Let's get this one. Got her. Hooray. Okay, great. We've got a really good female. Sweet. Let's put her in quarantine, because of course we need to do that. Is quarantine full? Or too full? Yeah, I think quarantine's actually too full at the moment. So, let's move some of our animals out of quarantine. I know Mandela died. It's so horrible. <laughs> let's see. Obami... A boy me. I don't know how to say his name. Fola. Shani. Uh, Kesha. Jahi. Where are they? Eh. Is Bunmi ready? Bunmi's not ready yet. Okay. Okay, these guys are all ready though. Let's move them out! Get them out of quarantine. Ooh, one of the warthogs just grew up. Are you a female or a male? Okay, you're a female. Good. I know. Wait a minute. Is she actually related to him? I don't know if she's related to him. I think that's her her puppy, but it doesn't register that. So I'll let them mate because it doesn't register that. If it doesn't see them as being mother and son, then I guess that means that it's safe for them to breed. Because obviously I don't want them breeding if they're related that closely or anything. But if they're not, according to the game, then there's really no problem. Okay. Loena is ready. Kiri and Bunmi are ready. Hooray! Okay. Now let's move our new wild dog in here. Come on, beautiful. You get to go in there. Hopefully she will be established as the alpha female before long. Yay, I have Thompson's gazelles and springboks. Okay, here's one of the springboks. Loana. Loana. Let's see, she wants more hard shelter. Fair enough. Okay. Hard shelter, huh? Okay. We'll have to build you one then, because right now we don't really have anything that's I like that's going to work otherwise. So, architecture. Okay. Walls. Let's see here. 
Let's get this. Like that. Let's see, let's build it this direction. Let's see here. Which side looks better? Yeah, this side I think looks better this way. There we go. Okay. Actually, let's turn this the other direction. Like that. And see if that works. Okay, that looks like it works just fine. Why is it showing that weird lighting there? I don't know. I don't like the way that looks, but whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's see, we're just gonna build a quick little box here. Nothing fancy, nothing special for the moment. Uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Now it kind of looks like there's a little yard out here, which is cute. I like that. Okay. Now let's make this a little taller. Dun, 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 dun. Go. We're almost done. Now we're done. Yay. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Let's fix that. That's better. Oh, my OCD feels much better now. For those wondering, I don't have actual OCD or anything like that, so I don't want to belittle anybody who really does. Just throwing that out there. But like most people, it bothers me when things are off-center or askew. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Let's see. How does this look? Uh, that looks really weird popping out from the side like that. Let's see here. Can we make this go up maybe? Can I put this on top of that? Ooh, there we go. Now it's got like a little opening. I like that. Yes. That looks cool. Now they can like look out but still be pretty enclosed. That works. I like it. Okay. So, huh. How the heck are we going to roof this thing for right now? I guess we can just do this for the moment. Because it needs to have some roof. But it doesn't need to be a good roof yet. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> we'll fix it when we have the thatch roof. But for now, there we go. The spring box and the Tommies can have some more space. Now let's add this. Extra large bedding for them. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and I unlocked some new enrichment items as well. Let's go ahead and give this to the Aldebar Giant Tortoises. Let's go ahead and put this in here, like right about there looks good. That is a fruit enrichment thing so that the keepers can put fruit on it. Oh, I don't like the way those look at all, but they're going to be better in the future. They t think the tickets are underpriced again. Well then, time for them to go up a little. Yay. Okay, what's this now? They can't access the Vet Research Center. Well, poo. Why did Escape pause the game? It was supposed to bring up this menu. That was trippy. Anyway, Vet Research is complete! Ooh, we learned more about our African wild doggos. Yay! I want you working on the Tommies, lady. Okay. You can't find an accessible research center. Well, you'll find one eventually! 
Great drinks! What a nice zoo! I love that Toilet Block 11 costs nothing! Well, that's good. I'm glad you like it. Okay, Springbok. What do you think? You're happy and you know it, so you're saying there's enough shelter. Good. Excellent. Good, good, good. The shelters look so weird right now. Ah! They look so bizarre. Oh, hey! You're enjoying this spot. Cool. My alpha male Tommy likes it. Look at him. He's like, thank you for building this for me. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> I know, I'm a weirdo. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, darlings. Don't mind me. Oh, who's ready to leave quarantine now? Why are you stressed, darling? Why are you stressed? You're distressed and trying to hide. Well, go go to the shelter. Shoo. Okay. She is ready to go into her new home. So let's get her there. And if all else fails, we can just release the older dog to the wild. Or just wait for her to pass on from old age if she ends up staying the alpha. I don't want to have to do that because that seems really mean. But I need them to breed. Okay, good. My little my little boy's feeling much better now that he's hiding in there. That's good. He's like, stop staring at me. I go in there. What's this? Uh-oh. Let's call the mechanic. I don't want the flamingos escaping. That would be warm and bad. Good, we discovered more about the flamingos, or ostriches rather, sorry, wrong animal. Now, what was that notification? Oh, just letting me know that the wild dog arrived. Oh! She's pregnant! And she's about to give birth! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, uh, we're calling the veterinarian. Because she's trying to keep herself as alpha female. I hope she loses her alpha female status. I'm sorry to say that. It feels mean, but... Please lose your alpha status, honey. I'm sorry. But you're not who you used to be. Ha! She's the alpha now. Yay! Yes! Okay, good. And the pregnant one is injured, unfortunately. That's really bad. But luckily the vet's right there and taking care of her, so she'll be fine. And then she'll be able to give birth, and then it'll be great. And we'll have both of the wild dog females breeding. Which is the ideal situation. Where the heck is the keeper? Feed them! Feed them, dang it! And get better training, for the love of God. You're not very well trained, any of you. I should probably fix that, because that's my job, to f train you people. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. They're all really overworked, except for the one person with the herd animals. Hmm. I should probably hire another keeper or two just to work on the entrance animals. Hm. Excuse me, guys, excuse me. Here we go. Okay, keeper one, keeper two. And you two are going to work with the entrance animals to help lighten the load on these poor souls who are super overworked. Okay, we need to get our reputation up a little bit more. And we need to get exhibit species. You got her? Is she good? Is she good now? Yes, yeah, she's good now. Okay, good. And she's the beta animal now, which is perfect, but she's still pregnant. Awesome. I'm saving this because I don't want to lose any of this progress. This is great. This is absolutely perfect because we need as many wild dog puppies as we can possibly breed. And I'd like them to be as high quality as possible because they are an endangered species, and I'd really like this zoo to be able to release some of them out into the wild. Okay, now let's set these 
to the Springbok and the Thompson's Gazelle, respectively. And then there's just one more species, I there are two more species, rather, that I would like to put in this habitat. How big is it, anyway? I never did check. 11,624. Um... Am I blind? No? 11,624. Holy mother of God! <laughs> Hello. Good lord. I had no idea that it was anywhere near that big. I guess we'll be fine when our animals keep reproducing and stuff, because good god. That's huge. But as long as nobody starves, we should be okay. Oh dear lord. Because all the food stuff is over here, so the animals should know to come over this way. Keeper in route. Now, let's see. What quality food are we feeding these darlings? Quality two. Quality two. Quality two. Quality one, because you can't get quality two just yet. Okay. Oh yeah, there's more animals that need to be moved into the habitat, aren't there? I'm an idiot. Oops. Sorry, everybody. I kind of forgot. Awkward. But yeah, we've got three more Tommies who need to be moved. Come on, baby girl. Let's go. Can I not move you? There we go. It was being slow for some reason. I do not know why. Okay, move you... And you. There we go. Now we have plenty of Thompson's gazelles. Excellent. And we've got some great warthogs ready for our next zoo once we're ready to make another one eventually. Wah! The zoo ticket price is good. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm very glad that you think so. Inspector arriving in four months. Okay, I already shook hands with that person. I already said hello. Ooh, the warthog is about to grow up. Yay! Let's follow you around, little one. That's cool that they can actually climb on the rocks. I wasn't sure if they could. Clip, 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 clip. Oh, dear. Aw, she's walking through the flowers. How cute. Da! But yeah, we're gonna have quite a big posse of warthogs here. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure she's ready to grow up just yet. Is she? I don't know, but one of my other ones is going to have offspring. Oh, the white one! Ooh, yay! My white one. I've never had one of the uh, albino animals give birth. Yay, I got an achievement unlocked. It says ghost. That's funny. Fools! She had a baby boy. His name is a Johnny. Hello, a Johnny. But you're not related in any way to Johnny the Squirrel. Those who have seen my Lotro Mordor LP will know Johnny the Squirrel. And those who have not will be like, what on earth are you on about, woman? Are you insane? The answer is yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Uh-oh, one of these Tommies is also pregnant. Oh my god! Abeo and... Uh, all three of them are ready now. Okay, cool. All right, little ladies, go on in. Now, what vet research was just completed? Thompson's gazelle research. Oh, that's helpful. More research. Yes, learn all the things about the ostriches. We're doing really well, you guys. This is great. Mechanic research complete. Oh, heck yes. 
We learned more about staff facilities. Yay. Good. Keep learning about staff facilities, please. We need to unlock more. Unlock all the things. Unlock all the things! Let's see, I unlocked three new things, it said? Jeez. Ooh, a blood scent marker enrichment. I know exactly which species this is for. Aw, puppy! Puppy! Let's see, here's one puppy. Two puppy. Three puppy. One daddy. <laughs> So cute! Okay, let's see this grab ball. That is liked by critters in this habitat, so let's put that there. And let's see. Um, is there anything else that I can give these guys that they would like? What about the bamboo feeder? No, that's for the carnivores it looks like. Okay. The ice block, maybe? Let's see, I'm reading through who it's for, and nope. That's cool, though. Oh, hey, a grazing feeder ball. Oh my gosh, yes. My animals love those. There we go. Fola is about to mature. Hi, Fola. She's so little. Ooh, we learned more about the African wild dog. Sweet. Bun me is expecting offspring. Oh. We have lots of pregnant critters, guys. This is great. This is absolutely great. Our critters are reproducing like, well, like bunnies. And we're doing pretty decently with money as well, so that's also helpful. Let's see, can I train up anyone else? Let's see, yeah, I know Fola's about to mature. You just told me, game. You just told me, game! What are you on about, game? Game? Oh boy. Let's see, do I have all three of my mechanics doing research? I will check in just a quick second here. After I get all my veterinarians learning more. Okay, vet research, we're good. Mechanic research, yeah, somebody's researching... Every one of them is researching something. Okay, good. A bayo's about to have a baby! Let's see a bayo's baby! Have a cute little baby! There went another Tommy. Oh my gosh! There's a warthog. And another animal over there. It looks like another Thompson's gazelle. Yeah, that's another female Tommy. Hey, little miss. You ready to have your baby? We all want to see it, little one. We want to see you give birth to a baby. I want to see the baby gazelle. I want to see it birthed. I don't want to see you taking a dump, but I guess we're going to anyway. <laughs> I guess she got nervous there. She got nervous and had to take a dump, but that's okay. Seriously? You doing it again? What the heck? <laughs> Man, you had to poop badly. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Whoa, hello sunlight. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. This view. Dang. I'm getting the screenshot. I got a screenshot. So pretty. So pretty! Alright, Mama. You gonna have your baby yet? She looks like she's glaring at me. She's like, seriously? She's like, stop it! You're making me nervous! All this talk about me having babies! What is this, human? What is this nonsense? Where are you even going, girl? Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Girlfriend, where are you going? Girl. Girl. 
Where are you going? Where is she going? Are you go oh, are you heading toward the grass? You gonna go give birth in the grass, honey? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you are doing? Looks like that's what she is doing, everyone. That look! That sass! That sassy look of hers. I love her. I love her. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, dang. I like it. Screenshots! All the screenshots! Okay. And an especially pretty one for a potential thumbnail. Dang it! There we go. Now I got it. You gonna give birth yet? The people are dying for it. We all want to see this now, lady. You're keeping us in serious suspense, girlfriend. Oh my gosh. One day she'll give birth. One day. And in the meanwhile, we will get glorious screenshots of her walking about being beautiful. Because she is walking about and she is very beautiful. Girl! Are you ever gonna give birth? <laughs> Have your baby, woman! Oh. Moon me, why don't ya? Okay. You're cool. Oh, wow. That looks neat. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. She's doing the moonwalk. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Not really, but it kind of looks like it. Do, 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 do. Are you, are you even pregnant? It said you were going to give birth. I'm sorry, what? Okay, we got to two stars, so that's great. Have we been following her around for nothing? Where the heck is her baby? The inspector arrived at the zoo. Okay, a bayo. Where is it talking about a bayo? I could have sworn it said that she was pregnant. Um. I don't know. I guess she's not having a baby. I am so sorry, everyone. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh no. We got some vet research done, though. Oh jeez, we got three things done. Nice. Oh well, we got some excellent screenshots of our beautiful Thompson's gazelle. Yay, my new wild dogs are about to make babies. They sniffing at each other. They go sniff, sniff, sniff. Like this. Yes! There's one of the puppies! You gonna have your babies now? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? You are pregnant. Pregnant. Prognant. Every way you can possibly say it wrong. One thing I do not recommend googling everyone is, am I pregnant? Because, oh dear god, the responses and the ways people spell it, just lord have mercy. Oh dear. Oh hey, the African wild dogs got five stars this time. Oh, the algebra giant tortoise has also got five stars. And people think that the tickets are a little bit overpriced, or underpriced rather, I'm sorry. So I just fixed that. Ooh. En route to Greater Flamingos. Let's see, you're going to see Cater, huh? Where's Cater? Come back here, Cater! I think you're Cater. Are you Cater? Yeah, you're Cater. Hi, Cater! Are you one of the ones who was a baby when we first started the zoo? I think you might be. That flamingo just kind of fell in the water. Like, what? just happened. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Where is the inspector? There she is. Hello, inspector. Hello, hello, hello. 
Where is she? There she is. Let's get a good view of her. She's like, the barrier's a little bit broken, so that's not good. But other than that, it looks pretty nice in there. They have sprinkler. They have shelter. They have pond. I gave them everything good. Yes! She gave them five stars! Hooray! Now she's going to go see the African herd animals. I really, really hope she likes them, too. I really, really, really hope so. More vet research just completed. Awesome, we learned more about the warthogs. Cool. Awesomeness. Don't mind me messing with my nose there. Let's see, the African wild dogs would like this box. Let me give them the box. Let's see, is there anything else I can give to my animals? Ooh, a mud bath. That would be great for these guys, for the, um... Oh, for the, uh... Whatchamahoos, it's the warthogs. Let me put it over here where it actually looks good. So that it doesn't look random. There we go. Now, where is Madame Inspector? Madame Inspector! Where are you? Madame, there you are. There she is. Oh, are there two of her? She has an evil twin! Why does she have an evil twin? Why are there two inspectors? My inspector has an evil twin. Can I be terrified now? Because I think I should have the right to be terrified now. <laughs> That's just not normal. We're almost done with the research for the African wild dogs now. Cool. Call the mechanic. Because we can afford that now. Hooray. Let's see. I just want to know what the inspector says before we end this part. I just want to know what twin one and twin two think. <laughs> what do you think, twins? What do you think, evil twins? Yay! They gave me five stars! Yay! And the spring box, we learned more about them. Good. Have we finished one of the other animals? What's this? Ooh, I think we finished the ostrich, guys. We did! Happy day! Alright, let's have somebody learn more about swine fever. Swine flu! <coughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Oh, God. But yeah, we're gonna have them learn about the swine fever while we, uh... Yeah. All that goes and does its thing. Now let's see, where is the inspector leaving the zoo? Where are you? You're right there. Okay, you and your evil twin are right there. Let's wait until the evil twin leaves. Do 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 I want to read the report once it's ready. Why is your welfare low? My education is terrible. And my cleanliness is good. Why is my education terrible? I don't know, so I need to fix that. Because I've never had that problem before. I've always had it perfect. But my exhibits, my habitats rather, sorry, are really good. Vet research is complete. Yay. We learned more about the Thompson's gazelles. Awesomeness. Okay, is the mechanic on that? Yes, the mechanic is on that. Great. Alright guys, so now that the darkness is descending once more, I shall see all of you in the next one where we will be putting in a new habitat and or more animals for the African herd animal habitat. So yeah, I hope to see you all there. Bye guys, have fun on the end screen! Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Raylunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 